strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. It's been a long time. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. If you're a fan of this game, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you are interested in what I use to record my gameplays and stream my platinum videos, I got links down in the description below. Alright, y'all. Deuces. <laughs> I said deuces. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm still... Why don't you pull up just here? I'm still thrown off that... I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Yeah, I'm still messed up by the way Arthur died. Is that brownie? It looks like brownie. That's crazy. Hmm. Alright, um... Yeah, I ain't mean to say deuces. I'm just here. Let's dig in. Wrong dude. Is it this dude? Nah. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh... I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest, and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Got a it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Huh. Huh. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Where's Sadie? Where's Charles? Where's... Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering what happened to so many people. Motor up pretty good, Milton. Good. You ride slow now. Yetis don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Alright. Let's see if I can do what I like to do. Edit. Whoa. Boom. Yeah. All right. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm a. Uh, boom. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Ah, uh, 
this means I gotta be attentive. Alright. John looking old. How old is he now? Probably in his 30s. I know Arthur was a little bit older. I should have guessed that I was going to be playing John after Arthur died. I was wondering that for a minute, but the closer he got to the end, I, was, I just kind of knew. I was like, it's going to be John. I wouldn't be surprised if I go to the other characters, though, to see how they're doing. But I think I'm going to be on John the whole time because uh, I'm pretty sure John's story is the most interesting. How much money you got, John? In all, no. Oh, you ain't got nothing. Items. Oh, you ain't got no money. Oh, you got some stuff from Arthur, but that's it. Uh, let's see. I look at the map. Let me get back to it. But when I look back, look at the map. He can go in the black water now. That's crazy. But when I look at the map, I mean, that's crazy. Come on, horse. How'd they get a wagon? This whole time, I'm just wondering, <laughs> where is everybody else? Did Charles help the natives make it to their next um, camp? Is he still with them? Where's Sadie? Why Sadie ain't with them? Sadie was with Abigail. Where's Tilly? John meets back up with Uncle. So where's Mary Beth and uh, Strauss? Wherever Strauss is gone, I'm not stunning the Reverend, and uh, Josiah is gone. I'm not stunning him either. I just want to know where everybody at now. And I wanted to someone like go back and bury Arthur. That'd be pretty crazy. All right, all right, all right. Slow down. All right. Let's see. Where is this house at? As far as a mug. I'm almost there. I should be seen in a minute. There we go north. Yeah. 
Now we go north. Maybe John, like the rest of the game, is John running into the old gang until they get their rent. I don't know. But I think Sadie's with Tilly. And I think. Pretty sure Mary Beth is still with Strauss and uh, the old man, the old, old, old man who's been an old man all his life. They got a big house. All right, I see it. I see that. It's a whole wrench. Oh, my bad. You can't bag up. How you bag up? It's a way to bag up. Hold on, hold on. It's not the triangle. Okay, hold on. I turned too sharp. I'm trying to figure out. No. Wait. If I hold stop. There we go. There we go. I had to hold stop. Alright. Alright. I barely stopped, so. Sir, I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? <laughs> it's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> That's my damn wagon! Alright. You're okay, you're okay. Hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing! Get on with you! No! Whoa, whoa! You can't take the joke, mister! Tell Gaddy's to take that offer off Mr. Avery. We get a whole lot more funny! <laughs> yeah. Ugh. 
my bad. Uh, yeah. Give John a gun, and he can he can definitely um figure this out. But anyway. boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would've robbed you. But... We'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Gettys returns. Nice, John. Pronghorn Ridge. Tom Dickens. I go talk to him. Gettys, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Gettys. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the... Wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that.
Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton? How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. <laughs> gotta yell that as soon as she got there. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, oh. just a ranch hand then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to pull them teats off. Just a little bit of time. One, then the other, Jim. That's how it goes. Almost got a pail full. Oh, I see what you mean. You are <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your Paul, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. She goes dry, they're gonna blame me, you know. She goes dry. <laughs> Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm.
Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Well. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh, I can't pick up. Oh, okay. Moving up. This is a dog's work. That stinks. Well. Ugh. Stinking piles of Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. <laughs> hey, I like it. Shit, in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. <laughs> ah, three dollars. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time with another gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. Deuces y'all.